Hello dear students and welcome to the video. In this video, I will talk about the main ideas that we will cover in week 3 for the pre-calculus course, which we will focus on the unit circle. At the beginning, we will continue talking about the reference angles, how to find the reference angle for different angles on the xy plane and determine whether we have a counterclockwise or clockwise rotation on the xy coordinates. After that, we will introduce the unit circle, which is a circle that has a radius of 1. I use this unit circle to find the different trigonometric functions, such as the sine, uh, sine of theta, cosine of theta, and tan theta. And we will know how to find the sine, the cosine, and the tan for some of the famous angles in the fourth quadrant, quadrant 1, 2, 3, 4, using the relation that we learned before between the four quadrants. After that, we will talk about the sine function. Uh, we will focus on how to find the amplitude after we define the amplitude for the sine function, how to find the period, what's the domain, and what's the range for the sine function. Then we will draw the graph of the sine function, which is sine x, which is a function that doesn't have any type of transformation on the x, y plane. And we will see what do we mean by the amplitude, by the period, how is, do we find the domain, and what's the range for the sine function. After that, we will deal with some transformation on the sine function, such as the translation over the x-axis, translation of the y-axis, the when we multiply the sine of x by a number, what we will what will happen to the range of the sine, what will happen to the graph of the sine function. Also, we will solve the questions that we will have the graph of the sine function, and we will be asked to find the function sine with all the transformation included. I want to thank you for listening, and I can't wait to see you in the class.